what our God said that at the time of a national catastrophe, all we had to do was stand and face the holy mountain of brightness, renamed by the British Mount Kenya. <laughs> because that's what the British did, right? They went around Africa renaming places, irrespective of whether they were holy or cultural significance, they just renamed them. Like in East Africa, we have a lake. And this lake is shared between three countries, Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. And each one of these countries has a name for the lake. In Kenya, we called it Namlolwe. In Uganda, they called it Nalubale. In Tanzania, they called it Nyanza. The British called it Victoria. <laughs> so in honor of the British people that went around Africa renaming places, I too have been touring Britain and I have renamed a few places. <laughs> it's okay, you can thank me later. <laughs> I have now renamed the uh, Hadrian Wall to Ha Ha, you see stupid walls never work. <laughs> the Buckingham Palace, I'm going to call it the gold mine. <laughs> Kew Botanical Gardens, I'm going to call it the firewood place. <laughs> and the Tower of London with its history of chopping people's heads off, I'm simply going to call it the Saudi Arabian Embassy. 